What's up, Buffs Nation? Hey, we coming. Tyler Johnson was born on November 11, 2001, in Chicago, Illinois. Son of Stephen and Chandra Johnson, he has one brother, Justin. At some point, the Johnsons moved to Conroe, Texas, a city 40 miles north of Houston with a population of approximately 103,000. Tyler attended Oak Ridge High School in Conroe and played football for coach Derek Rush. Our kids are very eager uh, to get back uh, to that point and, and, and make a run in the playoffs, so hopefully we can get that done uh, this, this coming year. Um, the guys we got coming back, like I said, we, we, we got uh, eight guys coming back on the offense side of the ball, and we also have four on the defensive side of the ball. And so uh, offense definitely is going to have to carry us until we get those young guys on the defensive side uh, to play at a high level. Uh, I, mean, it, it, I mean, basically our offense is going to be led by offensive linemen, which is always a good thing. We got uh, three young men. Number one kid we got is Tyler Johnson, who's already committed to the University of Texas. And we got uh, Justin Tesno and, and, and Casey Duhon. So those guys are going to lead us, hopefully, on the offensive side of the ball as far as uh, offensive line is concerned. So we're definitely excited about that aspect of it as well. Coming out of high school, Tyler Johnson was ranked number 82 nationally, number 10 in Texas, and number 13 at offensive tackle by rivals. He was rated number 46 nationally, number eight in Texas, and the number seven offensive tackle by 24-7 Sports. He was ranked number 16 nationally, number three in Texas, number four in the region, and number six at offensive tackle, according to ESPN. Listed as the number five player on the Austin American Statesman Fab 55, one of five offensive linemen named 2018 first team tops in Texas and was also selected to the super team by Dave Campbell's Texas football. He earned an honorable mention academic all-state honors in 2018, tabbed first team all district 15 6A, tallied 50 of Oak Ridge High School's 124 recorded pancake blocks as a senior, part of a line that paved the way for 2,317 yards rushing on 364 carries, 6.4 yards per carry, and 31 rushing touchdowns along with 1,502 passing yards and 11 passing touchdowns. Tyler Johnson, an offensive tackle out of Conroe, Oak Ridge. Uh, a lot of people will remember that high school in 2018. Texas signed Joseph Asai, defensive end out of that same high school. Uh, Tyler Johnson's one of the top offensive tackles in the class this year. Um, it's a really good year for offensive linemen in Texas, unlike last year. A lot of big, big guys with movement who can really play the offensive tackle position. And Tyler Johnson's one of those, 6'5", 300 pounds. Kind of late bloomer, he didn't really get that big until his sophomore year, so he's still growing into his body. But really long arms, really great pass protector, and he's becoming more of a mean streak uh, run, run blocker and developing a little bit of bend and uh, the flexibility to be good there. Um, he's one, uh, probably the second best offensive tackle in, in the class. I think he's number 15 on the fabulous 55, and somebody who can come in and after a redshirt year really provide depth and eventually become a starter at the Big 12 SEC level.
Hey guys, sorry about that. I was unsure, but it looks like it was on the page. So I'm here with five star offensive lineman Tyler Johnson. What's up? All right, so we're going to talk uh, Texas. Tyler doesn't like to talk much, so I'm glad I have him here. Um, but yeah, so we're going to do five questions. First question, Tyler, how's the offseason going for you? Uh, it's going great, man. Uh, start spring football today. Take, take some bodies today, man. We get, I'm, trying to get, I'm trying to get like 15, 20 pancakes today. Right um, so I'm keeping Tyler out of class, by the way, but yeah. just for you guys. But uh, Tyler, just tell us a little bit about your visit to Texas for the spring game and what stood out to you the most. Uh, it was great, man. I love uh, Brian Carrington. He's a great recruiter. I'm glad that he stayed at Texas. Uh, I got to sit down with more of the players more, like Tope. Uh, he's, a, he's an awesome offensive lineman. And uh, I get to see him develop, and they get to see me develop if I do come to Texas too. So it was awesome. So Herb Hand is the new offensive line coach there. Tell me a little bit about him and your relationship with him. Uh, coach Hand, uh, I've known him for like three months now, and we clicked instantly. Uh, he's a smart guy, tactical. He knows what he's doing, and it's just awesome. So you're going back for an official visit this weekend, man. Tell us what you're looking forward to the most. <laughs> Gonna be lit, man. Uh, I get to finally sit down with the players for more than like five hours, so I'm gonna be with them for a good two to three days. Uh, unlimited food, so <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. I wish I got that. <laughs> so, um, you know, this is gonna be the last question, so we all have to know yeah. what's gonna be the most important factors in your decision. A lot of people don't know you're obviously still considering Oklahoma, Alabama, uh, Georgia, Florida. Tell us what you're looking for to the, for the most in your recruitment. Uh, the number one thing for my recruitment is probably academics. Uh, whether it's in state or out of state, uh, football's gonna end one day, so academics is a key factor for me. Awesome. Appreciate it, Tyler. Make sure to subscribe to Horns 24 seven and you'll see Tyler on the 40 acres this week. Right, man. On December 19th, 2018, Tyler Johnson officially signed with Texas on early signing day. Over offers from Alabama, Baylor, Florida, Florida State, Georgia, LSU, Michigan, Oklahoma, TCU, Texas A&M, and USC, among many others. Tyler Johnson had initially committed to the Longhorns in May of 2018, just three weeks after taking his official visit. The Horns held a 100% crystal ball projection for Johnson throughout his entire recruitment. Oklahoma was the only possible threat as the Sooners hosted Tyler for both Junior Day and later for an official visit on April 14, 2018, during their spring game. Uh, Tyler Johnson, uh, again, great culture fit, great family. Um, a super nice kid off the field, but uh, a tremendous amount of nastiness when you turn the film on. And I think, um, you know, he's, he's a lot bigger uh, than maybe some of the, the other offensive linemen that we've signed in the past in terms of coming out of high school. Uh, so, and he'll be here in January. So we, we're hoping that uh, he's got an opportunity to, to play early and he's very versatile too. Uh, could probably play all um, you know, three positions, tackle, guard, uh, or center. The following is taken from the article, Imposing Four Star, Offensive Tackle, Tyler Johnson, Signs with Texas, Written by Gerald Goodridge. Johnson is the highest ranked member of the Longhorns 2019 class per the 24-7 Sports Composite Rankings. Coming in at number 37 nationally and number five at his position. Furthermore, he's one of only four Longhorn signees ranked within the top 100 nationally. Johnson saw his stock rise significantly between his junior and senior campaigns rising 124 spots in the rankings in the last two seasons. Tyler Johnson moved into his dorm room at the University of Texas in Austin in January 2019. He redshirted his freshman season and made his collegiate debut during the 2020 season starting at right guard in the Valero Alamo Bowl versus Colorado. Johnson was part of an offensive line that helped Texas set school records for points, 55, total offense, 638, and yards per play, 9.4, in the bowl game versus Colorado. 
Johnston also blocked for an offense that rushed for 303 yards and passed for 335 yards in the Valero Alamo Bowl, which marked the first time the Texas had recorded more than 300 passing yards and 300 rushing yards in a bowl game. Big news today out of Austin. After four seasons, the Texas Longhorns have fired head football coach Tom Herman. The university made it official Saturday morning. Herman, who was hired from the University of Houston back in November of 2016, was supposed to turn the program around after Charlie Strong failed to do so under his tenure. Over the past four seasons, Texas has been undefeated in bowl games, but only qualified for the Big 12 championship once, and they lost to Oklahoma. Athletic director Chris Del Conte had publicly stated Herman would be back for 2021, but clearly things have changed. And Texas did not wait long to name Herman's successor. Just hours after Herman was fired, Texas announced they had hired Alabama Office Coordinator Steve Sarkeesian as their new head coach. Sark has already been a head coach at the University of Washington and the University of Southern California. He will finish up his time playing, calling plays for the Crimson Tide when they take on Ohio State for the national championship game. But he says he's excited to get to work in Austin. It's amazing to think here we are. Um, 15 years removed from me standing on the opposite sideline of Vince Young running the end zone at the Rose Bowl uh, of being named head coach of Texas. It's a tremendous opportunity for me. I think there's championship talent on this team. Clearly, um, there's work to be done or a change wouldn't be made. And, and so that's, uh, that's a responsibility of mine that uh, we have to get that done. Tyler Johnson did not play in 2021 under the new coaching staff. On March 31st, 2022, it was announced that Tyler Johnson had entered the transfer portal. On April 16th, 2022, it was announced that Tyler Johnson would be transferring to Houston. You look at their 2019 class, mm -hmm. Brew McCoy transferred, Jake Smith transferred, Tyler Johnson, who's an offensive lineman, transferred, Tyler Owens transferred, Kenyatta Watson transferred, Marcus Washington transferred, Chris Adamora transferred, Myron Warren transferred, Javon Shepard, another offensive lineman, that was a big win over AM, transferred, Marcus Tillman transferred, Caleb Johnson, Kennedy Lewis, Marcus Caldwell, Jared Wiley, Willie Tyler, Juwan Mitchell, transfer, transfer, transfer. Then you have one starter out of 26 players that you sign. One starter, Jordan Whittington. As far as yeah. health goes, you had four medical retirements. To Gabriel Floyd, Darian Brown, Hook Finn, and then Peter and Poggy. And then you've got four guys from that class that are on your two deep. And this is from C.J. Vogel uh, with Roshan Johnson, who's been very good. Tavondre Sweat, Braden Lebrock, and David Gabenda. But out of your 26-man, number three in the country ranked yep. recruiting class, you've got out of 26, one starter and four players on the two deep, and then they did send one to the NFL, um, I believe, but, I mean, that's horrific percentages. That is just dreadful uh, how that class has turned out, and that's, you know, part of why they are, and this is not bashing on Texas, it's just that's that's why, you, you know, you're not living up to what, you know, the class should have lived up to. That's why I think they need to take away that little extra star bump from them just to be fair to Texas. Yeah. It's not, it like... It is, Dude, that hook fin thing was wild. The way yeah. he was, like, that was crazy. Yeah, I mean, it just just to be fair to Texas, take it away. It's not fair. Like they are the mountain of their own expectations combined with the mountain of the expectations of the football world, who hasn't noticed what's really going on there, has created a situation that's that's hard for especially young athletes that come in. You've heard ex Texas exes say like, "Look, they've they're entitled. They didn't do anything. It's not 2005 anymore." You know they need, but to it's not as if they don't push back on the the, the, mm -hmm. the, the rankings and yeah. they, they, they. But again, Coach Sarkeesian, he is now in charge of trying to maybe flip that switch. Yeah, Herb Hand, a very decorated offensive line coach, is there. But again, they struggled with that last year, and they have all the weapons. Can they protect enough to throw the ball? In order to be competitive, it's my opinion. If uh, if you can't. Tell, tell one of your teammates like how to improve or how to get better, then I believe you don't truly believe in your own skills. Because me personally, I believe in my own skills. So I'm going to tell a guy, if he's down, I'm going to tell him what he, what he needs to work on. I want him to be better. And let's say a guy goes, one of the stars goes down. We need guys to come in there, you know what I'm saying? Come in there and fill the spot. So me personally, I believe in my, my abilities, so I'm going to go help my guys too. 
So whenever it's guys not helping each other, I think I think it's just them not believing in their own skill set. So you want a movable part type yeah. guy, or, or, or where do you? Feel yeah. Like? So when I was in high school, uh, about junior, junior year, uh, Herb Hand, he's uh, he's at UCF right now. He's an online coach at UCF, but uh, he had moved over to UT my junior year. So he started recruiting me when I was about 17. And uh, like one thing he told me was uh, I had the size and the ability to move interior and exterior. So I still think I have that capability. Let's say it gets to the league level, they need me to move a tackle, I definitely can put a tackle. Based on need, you know, there's, yeah. there's a lot of things they can do. Yeah. Here, does that sort of, does that excite you a little bit that the, 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 you, you may not know yet what, what the plan is in store, but there yeah. are multiple options? Yeah, I'm excited. Like, wherever I play, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to put my head down and work. So that's all I know. I Tyler Johnson played two seasons at Houston, where he was named to the East-West Shrine Bowl 1000 in 2023, and also to PFF preseason All-Big 12 Conference third team as a guard. During the 2022 season, Johnson was named to the third team All-American Athletic Conference. He appeared in 12 games and played 717 snaps. He made 10 starts at right guard, playing 635 snaps. He also played 78 snaps on field goal extra point kick, four snaps at left guard, all versus USF. He had the number six pass block rate nationally among guards by PFF at 87.6. He had a pass block grade that ranked second in the American. He allowed just one sack and five pressures and 411 opportunities per PFF. He had the number six run block grade among guards in the American by PFF at 65.5. He paved way for four 100 plus yard rushing performances. He supported a Cougar squad that ranked 25th nationally in total offense and also helped Houston finish 16th nationally in scoring with an average of 36.1. In the offseason, Houston coach Dana Holgerson told the athletic Sam Kahn that he wasn't worried about his future because he had, quote, an effing impossible buyout. In the words of Kevin Garnett, when you have a billionaire pulling the strings at your athletic department, anything is possible! Yeah. Tillman Fertitta. Owner of the Houston Rockets, hotelier, restaurateur, really, really rich guy. When he decides something needs to change, it changes even if you have a $15 million buyout. So Houston, which has moved on for Tita's whims for quite some time now, is moving on from Dana Holgerson. Because you, you heard it when they fired Tony Levine, who went from coaching to running Chick-fil-A's. You heard it when they hired Major Applewhite and then fired him very quickly. They don't accept or tolerate losing at Houston. And even as they moved up to the Big 12 and the job got more difficult, it didn't matter. They're going to set a high standard and they're going to pay for what they want. And what they want is to compete in the Big 12 right now. Johnson played over 700 snaps and 11 games at Houston during the 2023 season. He had seven games with a PFF pass blocking grade of 77.9 or greater.
Johnson recorded a season high PFF pass blocking grade of 88.6 against Oklahoma State. When Tyler Johnson was coming out of high school, 24-7 sports national scouting analyst Gabe Brooks projected Johnson to become a future first-round NFL pick and compared Johnson to NFL player Trent Williams, who is considered to be one of the best tackles in the league, having made 11 Pro Bowls and three All-Pro teams. As a transfer to Colorado, 24-7 sports lists Tyler Johnson with a transfer rating of 90 and as the number 80 ranked player overall, and number one interior offensive lineman as of December 20th, 2023. Per PFF College, Johnson has only allowed two sacks across 890 career pass block snaps. Johnson comes to Colorado as a graduate transfer with one season to play one. Tyler Johnson has two nicknames, TJ and T-Stacks. He enjoys fishing, driving exotic cars, nature, anime, and traveling. Thank you.